In this tutorial video, we'll be looking at heterogeneous panel model estimation. Uh, some might call it long panel, some might call it panel ALD. Heterogeneous panels, particularly, are uh, fit for the panel data structure with a large time frame. By large time frame, I mean when your T is greater than 25 or 30 years. You would recall that when you do panel model estimation using system journal, Difference journal, fix or random effect. You, we do not necessarily worry about the stationary property of the series. That's because we consider the time to be too short to worry about the stationarity. But when time horizon is allowed to increase to infinity in the final second, there are concerns for homogeneity of the regression parameter and the possibility of non-stationarity. These concerns were raised by Pesherian and team 1995. Batagi. Philip and more 2000. Okay. So when your T is allowed to, when your T approaches infinity, when it's large, then there are concerns for non-stationality and possibly, uh, and possibly heterogeneity in the model. So in this case, uh, it is important we conduct the panel stationarity test to tell us whether or not this, this series series are stationary or not. If the series are not stationary, then heterogeneous panel might be the right. Uh, heterogeneous panel estimation might be the right uh, model to adopt. Okay, so basically, heterogeneous panel is fit when your T is large, and then you find out that your series are non stationary. When your series are non stationary, it is important for you to conduct co integration tests, panel co integration. So basically, I'm saying that before you go on to estimate your panel model using heterogeneous, you must have conducted a stationarity test. And then, if they're not stationary, you are expected to conduct panel co integration test. Okay, how to conduct panel stationarity test and co integration test? Uh, well explained in my previous video. So, just check my YouTube channel, you find it there. Just arrive. Uh, so now, heterogeneous panel. I have my data in uh, state already. So, the first thing we do when we're doing a panel data analysis is to declare. The data as a panel data and we do that by typing st set cross id and yes we just have declared my model as panel and now for heterogeneous panel we have an estimator we call stp engine okay it doesn't come with status so you have to install it to install it just type ssc install STPNG. You must be connected, okay? Connected uh, to the net. I click on enter. I have it installed on my uh, state editor. Uh, when you do your own, you tell me checking SPMG consistency and verifying not already installed. All five already exist and out to the tail. I have it in my uh, state already. Uh, so, with that, now let's come to the estimation proper. Here's the code. Uh, before I go on to the estimation, I, I need to tell you that we have three uh, type of estimator using uh, for heterogeneous panel. We have the mean group, we have the dynamics fixed effects, and we have the pool mean group. Okay. Uh, the dynamics fixed effect assume homogeneity in all coefficients except for the intercept, while the mean group imposes no such restriction in the model estimation. Uh, pool mean group intermediate between a dynamic fixed effect and mean group. Okay, it assumes the long run slope coefficient to be identical and allow for other coefficients to differ across uh, cross session. So this is the STPMG, the uh, the uh, uh, estimator we just installed now. This represents the short run variable D dot GDP that the structure of the model is such that FDI inflation and exchange rate are the independent variable Y GDP growth is the dependent variable so these are the short term this is the error correction term that the measure the speed of adjustment and these are the long run variable this is the mean group okay so we click on enter okay we have a result error uh, this, this, uh, this this measure the speed of the speed of adjustment these are the short term coefficients short term parameter and these are the long run parameter Okay, the ECM should be negative, less than one, and statistically significant if we are anticipating convergence in the long term. Okay, that is that for uh, mean group. 
we can come and look at uh, the DFP, the dynamic fix effect. We have the same order. All you need to do is just to change the uh, the method you want to use. Okay, so replace main group with DFP, dynamic fix effect, and I will click on enter. We have our result for DFP. These are the uh, long run coefficients, and the, these are the short run coefficient okay so uh now we can do for the last one and that is pruning group we do not need to write pruning group here because the estimate the estimator itself is png so if you leave your model like this and click on enter it usually takes time with a pruning group before it has to iterate The results should be helped in about a minute. Okay, we have our results in the let's see. These are short run coefficient and these are long run coefficient. This is for uh pooling group. Now we have three models. Obviously, we have to report one of them. How do we decide which one is the best model? Okay, that is a test we conduct to uh determine which model is best uh is best out of the three for our uh interpretation and uh presentation. So uh uh, how to choose the best model will not be covered in this video. Okay, so you watch out for the next video that will tell us how to choose a perfect model between the three. Okay, now so these are the three uh, estimator of a uh, heterogeneous panel, the main group, the dynamic fix effect, and then and the the pruning group. Now let me take you to my D file to show you some things. Basically, I want to give you a bonus and introduce you to Hardtrack 2. This Hardtrack 2 helps you to arrange your data in a table and export it to uh, to what? Okay, without having to take them to Excel and do a formatting like that. So it will arrange it in the table for you and take it to what directly. Okay. Now, this is the one for main group. This is Hardtrack 2. This Hardtrack 2 is meant to put this in a table. So Hardtrack 2 using this is the name i was going to give to the uh the file the document head panel the doc then the column title mg replace this is the second model this is for dfe the dynamic six effect okay and this is r 2 and this is for the pruning group this is r 2 remember they have the same the same title okay but their column type to the file column type to carry the estimate the estimation method okay this outlet 2 doesn't come with a status so you have to install it and to install you just type ss install outlet 2 so now i'm going to run all this and then i'm going to take you back to the status to see how it looks like run and then i'll come back to status Okay, there's other comment panel dog. Okay, 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 okay. Uh I know what happened. I have a I have a um I have a, a word document title at panel dots doc already open so it prevented it from happening. Let's do that again. Run and then we have it. Show have our results in about a minute.
There is also the color now. I don't know what now. Okay, we have the result. Okay, we have the result. You will notice at panel.doc. At panel.doc, that is at the end of each of the uh, result for each of the estimator. So, all you need to do is just to come here and click on it. When you click on it, it will take you to what uh, document where the results are exported. So, when you click, let's see. You see, we have our result already presented in what was. We have the moon this this structural coefficient, long run coefficient. For dynamic fixed effect, short run coefficient, long run coefficient, coming the short run coefficient, long run coefficient. Okay. Uh, so that is what actual two as well it does. Okay, thank you. So a short recap. If you're going to use a heterogeneous panel, then your time will be large. By large I mean it will be greater than twenty five or thirty years. Then you must have conducted your stationary to find out that the series are not all stationary. Maybe they are not all stationary or they're stationary in this other. Okay. And then you need you need to conduct a co-integration test, panel co-integration test. So the condition here, you have to do your stationarity test, you have to do your co-integration test. They are important. How to conduct your uh conduct co-integration test and stationarity test, they are well uh, uh explained in my previous video. So do check my um uh, my video and ch check out my uh channel and you see you see those videos there if you're joining this channel for the first time i find this video useful please and able to hit on the subscribe button and uh, share like comment thank you thank you for watching